Disneyland Resort, 25 Tips to Save Your Budget, Personal Finance 2022. There are numerous methods to save money on any family holiday, but with good planning you can even visit Disneyland Resort on a budget. We've compiled a list of tips to help keep your Disneyland vacation within your budget. It's the little things that can really make a vacation extra special for the whole family, and feeding everyone can really start to add up. When you factor in not only meals, but snacks and drinks, it can quickly add up. The bottom line is that the best way to save money is to have an open and honest discussion with everyone in your group about what you want to achieve. Search where you want to visit in advance. Saving money and getting better things isn't a simple thing, but it doesn't mean that it is impossible. We recommend that families sit down and figure out exactly what their priorities are in advance. They may end up spending some money at the park, but they can definitely save money. The right balance of value and savings for you is likely not going to be what another family chooses, but that's okay. I firmly believe that the key to visiting Disneyland on a budget, big or small, is research and open communication with your family about the experience. You can certainly get away with saying things like, we don't expect people to pay for the full experience, but we can offer some experiences free if they wish. That can also be a way to reduce costs, especially when dealing with larger budgets. Seek discounted tickets. The best deals are out there and if you have a budget to spend, you can find deals on attractions and even resort accommodations that can save you some serious cash. But in the end, if you're not looking for a bargain, you probably won't find one. If you want to maximize your time at Disneyland, go on a long-term pass. The single-day tickets are the most expensive tickets, so if you're in it for a day, buy a multi-day ticket. This will save you a ton of money. Also, while a 7-day ticket costs more per day than a 2-day pass, you can buy multiple 2-day passes and take your family to the park for 2 days straight. Consider carefully with the Park Hopper. Park Hopper tickets can be bought at both the Disneyland Park and the Disney California Adventure Park. The two parks are connected by a shuttle bus. It also makes sense when you are short on time. But if you just want to hit the highlights and get on your way, one park per day tickets are an excellent choice. Disneyland is open 365 days a year, and if you only want to spend one day, it is entirely possible to do that. Go when your kids are free or use child tickets. If you're planning on having children, a good way to make sure they get into the most popular rides at Disney World, and other parks around the world, is to start going in the early years. Pay attention to what you're paying for season tickets. Theme parks and attractions often raise their prices at the start of a new calendar year. Disneyland is no exception. As of yesterday, the company announced an increase in prices for certain tickets and annual passes. As most of us know by now, Disneyland in California has extended the ticket window for the summer months. There are no free passes for customers but, unfortunately, not all tickets are going to go down. Check the value dates on ticket calendar. Tickets are the primary way to enter and enjoy the magic kingdom of the happiest place on earth. And while it can be tough to pick the right time to visit, knowing when to go may just save you money. Conventions matter. Try to avoid staying near Disneyland during a convention or a conference as the rate of hotels can rise by as much as 50% during these periods. To avoid paying high rates, make sure to check the city's website or calendar before making a booking. Remember off-site because many hotels offer free breakfast. Disneyland Resort Hotels are the most famous resort destinations in the world. The Disneyland Resort Hotels are a great choice for families traveling with kids as there is so much to see and do. Try to go with public transports. As you know, Disneyland is a popular tourist destination in California. It's often a good idea to travel with a rental car, especially if you're going to visit other destinations nearby. But you can easily avoid paying a lot of money for parking with the help of a rideshare app like Uber or Lyft. Do you use food delivery apps? Food delivery via apps is becoming more and more popular with a wide range of families now opting for this mode of food delivery as a cost-effective option to dining in a restaurant or ordering takeout from a restaurant. Dining in hotels can cost an arm and a leg, so it's not surprising that many are now looking to order delivery via apps or use other transportation modes. Some families are already using Amazon Prime to send their kids school lunches, groceries and even takeout meals. Research the restaurants and the prices before you head out to Disneyland. It's not always easy to find the best value and quality. There is a range of prices at which restaurants in Disneyland can charge for food. Some offer adult meals for $10.15 in the counter service restaurants and $25.50 in the table service restaurants. For a more high-end experience, expect to pay upwards of $100 per person for Disney character dining. Bring your own water bottle. 
You won't have to worry about finding a free cup of water anywhere in Southern California if you take a reusable water bottle with you on vacation. There are public water fountains throughout the region that are designed to allow people to refill their bottles at no charge. It's always nice to have your own drink handy. Forget side dishes. You can save more money at Disneyland if you order a quick service meal without the side items like fries or a drink. The most important thing to remember is that if you don't eat them you will save money. Make the best meal plan for just you. Split or combine. Before ordering, take a quick look around to see if any other people are dining there. Ordering by yourself is always the best choice, as splitting a large pizza among four people can cost more than ordering one large pie. Have a good and big breakfast. I'm hungry is a familiar feeling after a day of play at the Disney parks. Maybe it's the Disney snacks that create this reaction but it can feel a little bit like shopping for groceries on an empty stomach. Prepare your own food. The food court is another great place to eat in the parks. In fact, there are plenty of options in there that are affordable. But, if you're craving something special, try out some of the snacks and sweets in the nearby dining locations. Don't forget to check the gift shop for souvenirs to take home. Check the local guidebook for Orange County, California and surrounding regions. There are several online resources to help you find cheap food in Anaheim, California, including the Orange County Entertainment Book. The free version of the book lists restaurants where you can get a great deal on a variety of meals. You can use the book in print or digital format. The free version of the book, however, can be difficult to understand, so be sure to pay for the subscription version of the book to access the restaurant listings, which you can do at any time during the free trial period. Bring your own autograph book and pen. If you're looking for a more personal souvenir, go ahead and bring your own book and pen to Disney. The book won't matter, but the personalized pen will make the kids happy. It's not just about who you sign books for. The experience of having a character sign a copy of your book is as unique as what that particular character represents to you. Get Max Pass. It's worth it for even the lowest tier and will help you save money while enjoying the best rides. Use your camera at photo pass stations to get fast, free prints and savings on our most popular sizes. Disney photo pass photographers are hoping that you'll download or purchase their photos so they can earn a little extra money. That doesn't mean that they don't want you to come and enjoy the park with them. In fact, they're just as excited as you are. Use the fast pass system to see if you can skip the line at your favorite restaurants, concerts or theme parks. There are even more options available for people with special needs such as those who are blind or visually impaired. Disney gift card deals are back. If you really want to get the most out of your Disney vacation, you should probably buy your tickets before you leave home. This way you'll save time and money and be able to enjoy more of the Magic Kingdom. You could also try buying Disney World gift cards online or from a local store, or using your Target Red Card. Search for credit card benefits and deals. To those looking to spend their time in the parks and not at the checkout line, a card is needed that rewards them for spending money in the park. Souvenir shopping can be fun. It's a chance to get something special from a place you've visited. But it can also be pricey. Before you start, set a budget for souvenirs. The key to getting the most for your money while still staying within budget, is to plan ahead. In fact, you should plan to buy your kids a souvenir on their last day at Disney, rather than on their first. Don't forget your power bank. You never know when it might come in handy. All day use of the Disneyland app can drain your smartphone battery life. To avoid paying for a battery charger, bring your own. Fuel rod chargers are sold at the park, but you can also buy one for yourself.